We're building the Apogee Zephyr High Power Rocket Kit. And we're in the construction of the motor mount, which is the heart of this kit. It's not a hard kit to build, it's a skill level three. So uh, the important thing is to fit check everything before you do anything. And that's kind of what I'm doing here is I'm fit checking the fins into the slots um, that I showed you the last time. It's a little tight going into the tube. But it does go in, so that's good. So remember the last time I said we were going to pull this centering ring out to get epoxy on the inside. So how do we do that once everything is put together? Well, see these holes here in the back? That's going to give you an idea of what we're going to do. So let me pull the fins out, and I'll pull the motor mount out. And it left one ring in the back. Um, and in the last video, I sanded the edge on the fins so to make these rings slide on easier. Um, now we're going to take the piece of Kevlar, this piece right here, and we're going to weave it in and out of these holes. And to make it a little easier to start, I'm going to take some super glue and wick it into the fibers. And that will allow, the, uh, allow me to go and trim that off so I don't have that big old head on the end. Okay, so remember i got to do this the right way. Okay, it's going to go in there like that. So I'm going to take a Kevlar and I'm going to go into one hole. And let's see, I want it to like this. So I need to go this way. And I'm just weaving in and out. And then when I get to the end, I'll just take these two and tie them together. Okay, so now what that does is now I've got three loops here that I can stick my fingers in. And imagine this is on the inside of the tube. I have three loops and I can just pull it off even when it's on the inside of there. So leave that like that and you'll notice that the fin is going to go right here so the string doesn't get in the way and that's kind of why I had to make sure that I had it the direction going right. So I want wherever there's a fin I want the loop on the outside like that. Okay, so I think we're ready to put everything together. So I'm going to push this through the front end. I'm going to take my ring. I'll pull it all the way through because I want to make sure I got my my slots line up. Line up. Okay, so the slot lines up here. I'll push it in, and I tuck all the Kevlar on the inside. That's going to be fine. Okay, like that. And then I want to rotate the tube around and I can still rotate it around and move the rings around. I'm going to kind of pull the uh, Kevlar. Oops, I put it in backwards. I want to go this way. This is why we dry fit everything. <laughs> tight. Okay, good enough. Okay, rotate that around again so that the centering ring, the slot, will be open. And then I can put in a fin. Okay, that's one. Two. 
two. Okay, so they're all in. And I want to check the back. And let's, I don't know if you can see this, but the uh, the backs of the fins you can see, and they stick through just a little bit. That's fine. And I want to make sure that the rails also stick through. So I want to push on the engine mount hard from the inside. And so now these the rails also stick through the centering ring. So that's where everything is going to go. So I'm going to pull one fin out and I'm going to tack glue this in. And again, I'm going to use thick super glue. Just putting a little bit on the bottom. I just want enough to hold it in place. Oops. Um, don't want to get any glue there. Um, if you look in the instructions, it says don't put any glue anywhere near this back end and the reason for that is we don't want to glue that ring in because we need to pull it out as soon as it's tacked in and my glue is kind of absorbed inside okay so that's one I'm going to stop before I get anywhere near that back edge. That's two. Okay, so that's three. Again, check everything on the back, make sure that the uh, fins are sticking through and the, the rails, the alignment rails are sticking through. So I'm going to let this harden here for a second. And if you're in a hurry, you can take some accelerator. I really need to get a new bottle. We're going to put epoxy on everything, so this is just tacking it together so that we can do the proper job here in a little bit, in a minute. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to pause here. I'm going to just let this set up. Um, you can double check your ring, make sure you can still move it. So grab the three. Yep, I can still move it, so that's good. I'm just going to push it back into place while it hardens it here a little bit. So I'll be right back. And you're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. We're building the Apogee Zephyr Kit. If you're on YouTube, down below is subscribe and comments, and we'd love to hear your comments on this kit. And if you're watching, uh, we also have some videos over here to the side. My name again is Tim Van Milligan.